Judith Seaman. I am a Minister of the Spiritualist National Union and currently a Vice President of the Spiritualist National Union. I would like to talk to you about spiritualism and how I believe it affects people's lives. Spiritualism advocates that life continues beyond what we know as physical death. Mediums communicate with souls that have gone through what we know as death and continue to exist in what we call the spirit world. Those mediums bring communication to those loved ones, family and friends who remain behind, which proves to them ultimately that there is indeed continuous life. That communication changes the lives of those who receive the communication. Yes, they will always retain their memories of past shared experiences, but now they have something to look forward to, a reunion in the future to know that they will be able to share once again time with those people who have meant so much to them. And I believe indeed that that does change their understanding of life. They begin to realise that this short span is not all there is. That makes sense to me. Why would we go through this existence on earth for it simply to be extinguished, rubbed out, like a candle snuffed out. We grow, we develop, and the scientists of today accept that part of us is indeed not physical. They freely accept now that we have a mind, and so it is equally acceptable to know that we are spirit, that we have a creative force within us. We are energy, and we all know scientifically energy can never be destroyed. It only changes its form. And so I suggest to you that you consider that, that we do in fact live on beyond physical death, but not in a physical form. Our energy is transformed, and our mind and that creative aspect of us continues, lives on. Once we accept that into our lives, once we know that it is not just a material existence to which we can be selfish and try to take everything that we want from it, but rather something that goes on into a, an eternal unknown time, then we begin to realise that it's what we put into life that builds and creates our future existence. And that in itself has to change the way we live our lives on earth. What a wonderful philosophy. It has been said by many in the past that if that philosophy could be practiced by the people of the earth, then indeed the earth would change. For we would recognize freely that we are indeed putting into life that which we will reap the harvest of in the future. I don't believe I am spirit. I know I am. And it is that difference between having a belief and having a knowing that has changed my life. Once you know you are spirit and that you will live on in this continuous existence, you realize that you are in fact invincible, that the earthly existence cannot ever destroy you. And as such, that changes the way you feel about life and the way you feel about your fellow man and the way you live your life. So for me, the philosophy of spiritualism can indeed not just change my life and yours, but can change our world, can change the way our world exists and lives together. We have seven principles within our movement of spiritualism, within our religion of spiritualism. The first one is the fatherhood of God, and the second one is the brotherhood of man. And if we could follow our second principle and live the brotherhood of man, then we would have a very different world. Thank you for listening. This talk has been brought to you by the Spiritualist National Union and is one of a series of talks about the philosophy and phenomena of spiritualism. I hope that you have enjoyed it.